LinkedIn. Are you using it? Oh yes, Tony. Do you get any good results there? I mean, can you put your hand on your heart and point to one piece of business that you've won there? Uh, be honest now. No, Tony. And that's the problem. There's huge potential in LinkedIn, but most business owners aren't getting the most out of it. So in this video, I'm going to give you six simple steps to fix LinkedIn so that you start getting results from it. I'll explain why you really should bother with LinkedIn. I'll tell you the three things that you need to focus on in LinkedIn. And I'll share with you my six steps for mastering LinkedIn. Does that sound like a plan? Come on then, let's get cracking. Hi, I'm Tony Messer, the founder of PickaWeb, the web hosting company that helps businesses get online, get found, and get more customers. I've worked with thousands of businesses of all sizes, and I want to make sure that you're getting the most out of LinkedIn. But before we get stuck in, let's ask one fundamental question about LinkedIn. Why bother? Well, if you're selling to other businesses, LinkedIn is the place to be. It's got well over 400 million users, so it's like having the world's biggest business database at your fingertips. But it's not just B2B. If you know what you're doing, LinkedIn can offer a ton of opportunities if you're selling to consumers. So here are my six simple steps to improve your LinkedIn scorecard. First up, be clear about your objectives. Now, if you're anything like me, when people start talking about objectives, this normally happens. Sometimes it can just seem like an excuse for not getting stuck in. But if you're a business owner, there are only three objectives when it comes to LinkedIn. One, becoming an authority. Two, identifying partnerships. And three, generating leads. If you just start focusing on these three things, you'll find that you stop drifting and start getting results. Number two, start identifying your targets. Because you're clear about your objectives, you can start to identify your targets. It's a bit like doing detective work. It's elementary stuff. So if you want to be an authority, you need to create great content and you're looking for more media exposure. That means developing relationships with influencers, journalists, bloggers and the like. If you're looking for partnerships, you can start to identify complementary businesses that you can work with. Now you've got a plan of attack. If it's leads that you're after, you need to be in groups, asking and answering questions with your target audience. The point is, you're not just jumping around willy-nilly hoping that something's going to happen. You've got a plan of attack. Point three, create a solution-focused profile. Anyone will tell you that your LinkedIn profile is vital, but as a business owner, it's not your CV. I know you're proud of your university degree, and so is your mum, but guess what? What's that, Tony? Nobody else is. In fact, they're only interested in one thing. What's in it for me? So with your profile, show them that you're a solution provider. Show them that you've got what they need. So get rid of all that dusty, boring content and make your profile pop. Number four, segment your contacts. You've got three objectives, leadership, partnership, or leads. And that means you've got several target audiences. So you need to keep them organized so you can give them the right information at the right time. LinkedIn allows you to tag your content. Now this used to be free, but they've now restricted this to their paid accounts. Boo. If you're on a tight budget, you could keep them organized on a spreadsheet. But if you're serious about using LinkedIn, then a paid service is definitely gonna help you to streamline the process. Number five, ask questions. Ever joined a LinkedIn group? Notice how much telling there is not much listening. Some groups seem to have very little interaction between their group members. So look for groups where there's more conversation going on. When you find them, start asking questions. Give it a try. You'll be pleasantly surprised that you'll get much more interaction than if you just post stuff. But why not go the whole hog and create your own group? Having your own LinkedIn group has got loads of advantages. A 
apart from giving you thought leadership and authority, you can create an engaged community around a shared common interest. You can also control who joins and you can send weekly updates to your group. Number six, post great content. When it comes to content in LinkedIn, you've got a couple of options here. First, you can post regular updates, maybe featuring content of the people that you're targeting. Think of updates as being like LinkedIn tweets. This is short form content to highlight content that's created by you or by other people. It's a great way to get noticed by your target audience. You can also post long form content. It does take longer, but you could just repurpose stuff from your own blog. If you're not sure about business blogging, we've covered it in our free book, The Website Survival Kit. You can claim your free copy below the video. Just click on the link and it'll take you straight there. So that's it, LinkedIn mastery in six easy steps. If you like this video, please give it the big thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Also, share it with your friends or anyone who you know that's got a business. And if you've got any questions or comments, just leave them below. I really appreciate it, I do read them and I will get back to you. That's all for now, thanks for watching, bye bye.